Let me ask you about this. How about brakes? Because as we it does to, have brakes. Oh, the brakes. Oh, it's good, braking is a whole subject with this. Well, car. see, that's what I was wondering about. Is that a standard disc type brake? They, do, or how is they that? do have standard disc brakes, but you never have to use them. You basically. Okay, now Tom, did you? Oh, I just lost you there for a second when he said you don't have to use the no, brakes. No, I, I, I'd seen all that last. Time. Okay, all yeah. right. So maybe it was me I was talking about. All yeah, right, let's go back. Yeah, I'd seen all that. Um. So. Uh, uh, when you let your foot off the gas, the car employs regenerative braking, which means it turns the engines into generators, and the force of having to turn the generators to recharge your battery slows the car down. Okay, So you never have to use the brake. If you just take your foot all the way off the gas, the car slows down and comes to a stop. And you recapture the energy. And you're recapturing the energy of your yeah. momentum. Okay. This is uh, – that's kind of out there, don't you think? I mean, wait a minute. Am I just reacting to, to, uh, now, too now, much of that? Because, now you can okay, use you take the it brake. Off and it, you can use the brake. Sure. And if you come up too close to a car too fast, you have to use the brake right, because sure. the regenerative braking doesn't go quick enough to stop you in time. Right. But very quickly, and I mean within five minutes of driving this car – you find yourself easily. You're just regulating the pedal. Uh, I want to say, keep saying the gas pedal, but there's no gas. Uh, I don't. You, we got to come up with a name the for this. The accelerator juice, juice pedal. The accelerator. The, what? the juice, juice pedal. pedal. The accelerator <laughs> pedal. And, right. And, accelerator. and now it's Thank an accelerator you. decelerator pedal. Okay. So you just you very quickly, and I mean it's amazingly fast. You get very used to coming up, and you always keep your foot a little bit on the gas to get that coasting feeling that you're used to when, with your gas power. Right, car. cruise control. Oh, it's got cruise control. Of course, it has cruise control. What am I well, talking about? Well, it's one here? down on the stock to do cruise control, two down to do autopilot. So, but this yeah. cruise control actually, if it's on autopilot, it also de- accelerates, decelerates based on traffic and the road conditions. You but don't I even think, have to go into autopilot to do that. Okay. The regular cruise okay. does that. The regular crews reads the car in front of you, reads the lane lines. It keeps keeps you in your lane. And so, unlike my truck, when it's on cruise and I'm coming up on somebody, and the, this this would not have me stamping on the brakes and slowing you, down and you, turning the. You just get so lazy, on. you just forget about it because the car slows down. It does it, and then speeds back up and when then it speeds clear. back up. Well, see, I think it goes to what you said about a total redesign and mm-hmm. what you said about all the things that they thought, that they thought through. Because yeah. it's not it's, it's not tacking process. technology on my car. It's right. a total redesign a total of what a car re-ride. is. Well, we've, we've done that with lots of products sure. throughout the term. You know, Education's just one we talked about. Right? Well, yeah. we've got to come back to that. I've yeah. I got, I got a chapter I want to share with you on education. Yeah. So, yeah, so th- this is new from the ground up. Maybe that's what we need to do with a lot of things, maybe even including education. So. Maybe. Uh, we had some uh, thoughts about on, that. On the autopilot, there's one thing I never did mention that uh, yeah. bears talking about, and that yeah. is um, it does, when you first engage autopilot, it has a little disclaimer coming up saying you, you have to keep your hands on the wheel. Right. Okay? Because it can get confused, and it can disengage if something goes wrong, like a car right. coming into your lane or something like that. So you got to be ready to take control sure. at any Which time. Which you should be, right? Right. And they also say you shouldn't be using it except on highways and interstates and things of that nature. But you can use it anywhere. Right. Because the little gray steering wheel comes up whenever it sees lane keeping information. And Mm -hmm. if that gray steering wheel's up, you can put autopilot on and it'll keep in your lane and do its thing. And if you use it adroitly... It's really an assistive technology. In other words, right. let's say it's last night it raining like and you've got barrels everywhere and you're not seeing the road. You just go. Then blunt. the car will see the road for you, and then you're still in control. That's the amazing thing to me. That's and what the sold additive me, feature. Of it sold product. me on the technology. I was coming home <laughs> from uh, having yeah. having uh, dinner with a buddy of mine uh, last night, actually, and it was night before last. Night before last. No, it's night before last. Mm-hmm. And it was raining like there's no tomorrow. Right. And I was driving down Highway 9, Roswell Road, heading back toward, or Alpharetta Highway, heading back toward Marietta. And with the lights, the, the street lights and the rain 
I could literally barely see the lane markers. Sure. But I look on my screen here, and my car is seeing them perfectly. <laughs> and I just do my dunk, dunk. <laughs> and I know that I'm not supposed to be using it necessarily or not trusting it that much there, but mm-hmm. it helped the heck out of me. Okay. Because I could sit there with my hands on the wheel, knowing I may have to take over at any minute, but while it's seeing those lane markers, and I can see how it's seeing them, because it right. shows you dark blue lines if it's seeing them good. Um, you just have a, a feeling of confidence, and you know it's it's helping helping you keep station. Mm-hmm.